Hi Brooks, my name is Caitlin. It sounds like you're having some problem doing some area model division, so your mom reached out. So we're gonna go over that today. I know this video looks a little bit long. That's because I'm going over your whole worksheet that you have. Once you get the hang of it, you don't have to watch any more of the video, but let's go through it together, okay? Now, really quick, before we actually get started on this, I wanna show you um, multiplication by the box method. Multiplication by the box method is a really helpful way to multiply multi-digit numbers. So for example, let's say that I have 232 times four, right? The way that we, and you may already know how to do this. I should have said that to start with, but this will help with you understanding the division part. So this is a three by one box. So here's my one, and then I have to divide it into threes. Let's make my box a little bit bigger here. So uh, now for my threes, I've got two hundreds, 30 and two. So I put my ones here, my tens here, my hundreds here. 232 adds up to 232. Now, uh, times four. I don't know why I put a one there. The four goes right here. So this four times two is eight with two zeros. Four times three is 12 with a zero. And four times two is eight. So now all we have to do is add these up. 120 plus eight is 128. 128 plus 800 gives me 900, oh, you can't see it, 928. So when I multiply these two things together, I get 928. That's the box method of multiplication, and knowing that is gonna help with your division. So let's take a look at some of these problems. Now, I know you've already done some of these problems on your worksheet, but I'm gonna go over them again just to make sure that you understand them. So for our, I gotta put things away here. <clears throat> okay, so for our first one here, we have 90 divided by two. So what we're gonna do is this is our ones column, like I have marked here, and then our tens. So how many tens are there in 90 of two? So what I mean by that is we have two times 10, right? And then we have two times 20, and that will give us 40. This gives us 20. Two times 30 is gonna give us 60. Two times 40 is gonna give us 80. Aha, we're trying to get up to 90 without going over. If I go two times 50, that gives me 10 with a zero, so 100. That's too much, that's bigger than 90. So we've gotta go with 40 here. So we're gonna put 40 up here, and we're gonna start with this 90, and we're gonna be subtracting everything we've got, so or everything that we find along the way. So two times 40 is 80, so we subtract that and we get 10. Now we're gonna take that 10 and move it right up here. Okay, now how many times does two go into 10? Five times, five times two is 10. And so when we subtract it, we get no remainders. So what we have to do is add up these numbers up here. 40 and five gives me 45. So let's try another one. We have 50 divided by three. So here's my threes and they're gonna be in my tens column. So I have three times 10 is 30. Three times 20 is 60. Oh, and already we're too high. We need to go up to 50. So the best we can do is 10. Three times 10, oh, and we bring this guy down to right here, 51. Now, three times 10 is 30. Minus that, we get 21. We're gonna take that 21, we're gonna put it up here. So now, three goes into 21 how many times? And if you said seven, good job, you know your multiplication tables because three times seven is 21. So fantastic, we have no remainders. So all we have to do is add up these guys here, which gives us 17. All right, let's take a look at our next one. So fours, remember this is our tens column, so we have four times 10 is 40, four times 20 is 80, and already we're too high. We only need to go to 40. So we're gonna say four times 10. And remember, we bring this guy right here, 49. Okay, now we're ready to start. Four times 10 is 40, which leaves us with a remainder of nine. So we take that nine, we put it over here. Four goes into nine two times. Four times two is eight. So this time we have a remainder of a one. So we take these two things and add them together. We get 12 and then we have this remainder of one. So we write remainder one, just like that. All right, let's look at number four. And if you think you got the hang of this, you can always pause the video, try it on your own, and then come back and see if uh, you got it right. So we have five is gonna go over here and we've got, this is our tens column. So five times 10 is 50. Five times 20 is gonna be 100. We're trying to get up to 78. So the best I can do is one group of 10. So we've got 78 that we bring down here like that. Now five goes into 78 one time, so with which gives me 50. I should say 50 goes into 78 one time. So now we take that, we subtract it, we get eight, 28. All right, let's take that 28, move it over here. 
Now, how many times does five go into 28 without going over? If you said five, good job, you know your multiplication tables because five times five is 25. So that gives me a three. So we have a remainder here. Remember, add up these two things, we get 15, remainder three. Oh, I didn't even circle the whole thing. That wasn't very nice. 15, remainder three. Okay, so that's our answer for number four. Let's take a look at number five. All right, number five. Now we're getting into something a little bit difficult. I just threw this on the floor, but I actually still need it. Remember, we got ones, tens. Now we got hundreds over here. So this is gonna be our hundreds column, okay? So let's take a look at that. If we have three times 100, that's gonna give us 300. Three times 200, that gives us 600. Three times 300, that gives us 900. And we're already over because we're trying to get to 886, 886. So it looks like I can only do 200. So 200. 200 times three gives me 600. So let's subtract that. We get 86 here and then six, seven, eight, 286. So let's take that and go over here, 286. Now this is our tens column. So we've got 30, or I'm sorry, we've got three times 10 gives us 30. Three times 20 gives us 60. Three times 30 gives us 90. We're trying to get up to 286. So we're gonna be here a while. Let's jump ahead. Three times seven is 210. Oh, we're getting closer. So, oh, sorry, 300 times, three times 70 is what I meant to say. Three times 80 is 240. Three times 90 is 270. That's what we're looking for. Because if we do three times 100, that's gonna give us 300 and that's too much. So it looks like we need three times 90. So we put 90 here. Three times 90 is 270. Let's do some subtracting. That gives us six and one, so we get 16. Let's bring that over here. Now we have our ones. So how many times does three go into 16 without going over? If you said five, you know your multiplication tables because three times five is 15. That gives us a remainder of one. So we have to add these guys up here. 295, 200 plus 90 plus five, with a remainder of one. There's our answer. All right, let's take a look at this next one. So again, we've got fours, so let's do our hundreds. Four times 100 is 400. Four times 200 is 800. Now remember, we're trying to get to 672. 672. So it looks like if we do 200, that's too much, but if we do 100, that's just right. So 100 times four gives us 400. Let's subtract. We get 272. Let's bring that over here, 272. Now, how many times does four, so this is our tens column, so we've got to multiply by tens. Four times 10 is 40. Four times 20 is 80. And I'm trying to get up to 270, so we're gonna to have to jump up a little bit. Let's say four times six is 240, oh, 60, I'm sorry. Four times 70 is gonna be at 280. Ah, that's too high. So it looks like we're doing four times 60. So if I do 60 here, four times 60, four times six is 24 with a zero. Subtract that, we end up with 32. Let's take that 32, move it over here. All right, how many times does four go into 32 without going over? If you said eight, you know your multiplication tables because eight times four is 32. All right, so 160 and eight gives us 168 for our answer. All right, let's take a look at number seven here. We've got, we've got the hundreds column again, but this time we're doing fives. So five times 100 is 500. And we're trying to get to 795, right? Five times 200, well, five times two is 10 plus two zeros, that's a thousand. That's too much. So it looks like we're only gonna do 100. So five times 100 is 500. That gives me 95, 295. Let's move that up here, 295. All right, so now we're in our tens column. So let's maybe make ourselves a little cheat sheet here. Five times 10 is 50. Five times 20 is 100. Uh, we're trying to get to 295. So maybe let's do five times five. That's 250, oh, five times 50 is 250. Five times 60 is, well, five times six is 30 with another zero. Ah, so 60 is too much, but 50 is perfect. So if we do 50 here, we've got five times 50 is 250. Subtract that, we get five and four, so we get 45. All right, now how many times does five go into 45 without going over? 
said nine, good job. And this one is a perfect one, no remainder there because nine times five is 45. We subtract it, we get no remainder. So let's add these ones up, we get 159. All right, last one, thank you for hanging in there with me. We've got 400, and so we've got two, and we're gonna start with our hundreds column. And the reason I did a hundreds column is because if you're if this number is in the hundreds, you probably gotta do hundreds. So uh, two times 100 is 200, two times 200 is 400. I bet that's what we need, but let's just double check. Two times 300 is 600. That's too much, we're trying to go to 499. So let's say 200. Two times 200 is 400. Subtract that, we get 99. Take that 99, bam, move it up here, 99. Now, this is the tens column, so let's do some practice with our tens. Two times 10 is 20. Two times 20 is 40. I need to get all the way up to 99. So maybe like two times 40 is 80. Two times 50 is 100. So it looks like we're gonna be doing 40 because 50 is too much. So if we do 40 here, two times 40 is 80. That leaves me with 19. So we're gonna take that 19, we're gonna move it over here, 19. Now, how many times does two go into 19 without going over? If you said nine, two times nine is 18. And we have a remainder of one here. So we're gonna add these up, 249 with a remainder of one. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let your mom know. Uh, otherwise, good work and we'll see you next time, okay?